Welcome to the NRL previews for round 20. I'm Darcy McDonald, joined by former State of Origin representative Josh Mansell to break down all the games this week. Josh, how are you after that epic Origin game? What do you think, Darcy? I think you're flying I'm high. I'm absolutely really <laughs> buzzing. Honestly, what a game to watch, um, especially live. And to get the perspective of a fan as well was uh, something that I always uh, cherish. And um, yeah, it's a beautiful day. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> It's a good day to be New South Wales, 100%, right? 100%. 100%. Uh, but looking ahead to yeah. round 20, the Raiders host the Warriors to open the round and there is a lot on the line in this one. Yeah. Canberra in particular will be desperate to win and arrest a four-game losing streak. And I guess four big inclusions will help them do just that. I think so. I think this game is a bit of a flip of the coin. 11 versus 12. Um, you know, Canberra is always a gritty, aggressive style of team. Uh, you know, of course, every Ricky Stewart team is. And uh, playing in Canberra is no uh, ordinary feat. You know, it's cold, it's dewy. Um, similar, similar conditions to the Warriors, but um, still Warriors having to travel down to the nation's capital. And I think the biggest question mark as well is like how many players can back up for the Warriors going into this game. But obviously uh, highlighting the Canberra um, team. You know, they've got a physical team. They can unsettle the Warriors, but um, I think consistency has been lacking for them lately. And the Warriors are also on that precipice between the outskirts of the top eight and losing touch on the ladder. Mm. Uh, interestingly, this week, they're choosing to shift Roger Tuovasashek to the wing. Youngsters Tain to a pick in Ali Laatua, taking up key positions in the back line. Yep. Is this the last throw of the dice for coach Andrew Webster? Oh, I, I think so. Um, I think, you know, the way the Warriors have played this year has definitely been underwhelming. They haven't lived up to all the hype. Um, you know, there's been a few positional changes that hasn't gone according to plan as well. Well, um, again, I, I, this is do or die for the Warriors. They need to win this game, similar to the Raiders. Um, you know, we only got, what, seven rounds left. Mm -hmm. um, not long, I can't believe I'm saying that. This year's <laughs> absolutely flown. But, yeah, with the Warriors, similar to the Raiders, haven't been playing consistent football, haven't really found their mojo this season. Every time you think they got their, they kickstart their season, they take two steps back. I just don't, I don't know what to expect from the Warriors, but I, I know one thing for certain, that both these teams will absolutely have to grind out this game. Mm, sets up a thrilling contest. Sure. Well, the Warriors have won the past three encounters between these two. Yep. Can they make it four in a row, or will the Raiders win at home? I'm tipping the Raiders uh, off the back of a flip of the coin. Um, again, I feel the Raiders' game plan um, going up the guts, through the middle, that power brand style of football will really go a long way and win this game. And again, I feel like when the Warriors have been stuck in an arm wrestle for the majority of this season, they haven't delivered. So I'm going to go with the Raiders. All right, the green machine. Let's go. <laughs> Thanks, Josh. Uh, if you want to see the match live, head to nrl.com slash tickets. If you can't get to the game, remember you can still watch it on Channel 9, Foxtel, Sky New Zealand or KO. Kickoff is at 8pm. Yeah.